All right, what we got here is a, a scuba regulator. Got it at the Goodwill for 20 bucks. And then I got an old uh, fire extinguisher that uh, was unable to be recertified because it had a bend in the handle and uh, didn't work anymore. So it got discharged and uh, they went and recertified it. So it was headed for the garbage. So we're gonna head and try to use it for uh, a uh, scuba tank. So, plan is to uh, hook at least one of these regulators up to probably the. Uh, I think I can unscrew this gauge and get a a point to the valve or to the tank that's before the valve. So, that's the plan: is to take this off and then put an adapter, take one of these regulators off of this guy, and. Uh, try to make the threads work from that to that. I'll have to probably run to Home Depot and see uh, what they got as far as that and try to hook it up, see if it works. You ever got a boot stuck down in your engine? You can pull it out with a coat hanger. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, is get rid of this, uh, take this apart and uh, get this off of there. Then you're going to want to clean off the inside of this really good. This still has a lot of uh, the fire retardant, whatever it is, uh, still all over everything. So I'm going to give it a good wash, uh, soap and water, maybe some, some bleach or some other chemicals, try to get it as clean as I can possibly get it. That's the plan right now. All right, here you need some tools, but I got it all taken apart. This unscrews from here comes apart and there's a big long tube that picks up the uh, the fire extinguisher stuff from the bottom and sucks it out I'll probably end up cutting this off just because I don't need it but I do need this to be screwed in because it controls there's a spring in there and that's what holds up that that valve from being from just staying open all the time that's what closes that valve and closes this end off so that's gonna stay in there just to keep that valve closed. Um, this I pulled off with a with a wrench. And this I pulled off with a pair of channel locks. So everything comes off and it's the same, same thread. So I'm hoping I can take this piece to Home Depot and match it up with one of these pieces. They all look like the same thread, but I'm gonna take off the valve that I need and I'll probably take that piece to the Home Depot and see if I can figure out how to adapt this to that. So that's the plan. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. Um, what I'm gonna do is, coming off of this side, it's gonna be uh, an eighth inch hex nipple, hopefully. Eighth inch hex nipple, and then I got a T, and then I got a Schrader valve here, it's like one of those valves from a bicycle, and that's gonna allow me to um, air up the tank. So I'm gonna put that on here. And then another nipple. And this is the adapter between eighth inch and quarter inch. And that's the size ended up being for the, um, the air tank, for the regulator. So, that's what it's going to end up like. Uh, eighth inch hex nipple, eighth inch T, eighth inch Schrader valve, eighth inch hex nipple to an eighth to quarter. Uh, I think that's called a coupling. So that's what we got going on. I'm going to uh, get some Teflon tape. I'm going to wrap everything up and um, get it all wrenched tight.
Okay, so it worked. Um, as you can see from the test video, I had a leak coming out the very end of the Schrader valve for some reason. Um, I tried loosening it and tightening it, but I don't know, maybe I just need a new valve or um, you can take the valve out from the inside and put a new one in. I didn't do that, but maybe I'll put a new one in there and see if I can stop it from leaking. And I was leaking right here at the point where the hose connects to the the all the couplers that I made. Um, so I probably just need a little bit more Teflon tape or something around that one. And we should be good to go. Um, so I, full grown adult, get about two, two good breaths out of this thing. Um, you know, it pretty much doubles my time that I can stay down under the water. I can usually hold my breath around 45 to a, seconds to a minute. Um, but I can stay down a minute and a half, two minutes pretty easy uh, with this thing. Um, my eight-year-old daughter gets about four to five breaths on it. She she actually breathes in before she goes underwater instead of taking a deep, deep breath and then going down and breathing with it. Um, and then my youngest, seven, she gets, I don't know, 10 to 15 breaths on it. She does pretty good. She deep breathes in and holds her breath. She can stay down for uh, probably a minute and a half, too. One thing you should note is that when you fill this up, um, oil can get in from the air compressor. You saw I was just filling it up with the air compressor. If I was going to take more than a couple breaths out of this thing, I would go get one of those. Uh, they sell filters that'll filter any kind of oil and everything out of the air. Or you can buy a pump that's specifically made uh, to pump up scuba tanks, and it'll go a lot higher pressure i think it'll go up to like five thousand pounds or something but we were only airing it up to about 110 120 pounds of pressure and yeah it uh worked like i wanted to pretty happy with it so if you got a fire extinguisher laying around and a scuba regulator you can make a little temporary tank uh so don't forget to like share subscribe and all that good stuff